The Florida Department of Transportation is proud to present the Skyway Wads project. This project is located in Bradenton, Florida, along the south causeway of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. This segment of I-275 links Manatee and Pinellas counties and is a vital connector for freight, commuters and tourists to the area. There are two locations where the wads have been placed. These are both located on the west side of the Fishing Pier Access Road. The placement of the wads provides two main benefits, coastal resiliency and seagrass mitigation for future bridge replacement projects. Hurricanes and other large storms can leave Florida's coastal roadways damaged due to storm surge and the repeated wave energy hitting the shore can erode the embankment holding up the road. To protect against this, wave energy needs to be reduced to lessen their impacts to the shoreline. This is where WADs come in. WAD stands for Wave Attenuation Device and were created by Living Shoreline Solutions Wads reduce a wave's energy by absorbing the energy rather than just deflecting the wave. The wads have angled cutouts which allow the wave to enter, thus causing a reduction of energy due to hitting the inside three walls of the wad. The two rear-facing sides then allow the wave to exit with a significant reduction in velocity. Sediments carried by the incoming waves are removed by the interaction with the wads. These are then deposited on the shoreward side. Due to the reduction of the wave's energy caused by traveling through the wad system, waves tend to die out approximately three feet behind the array of structures. The wad's triangular shape helps to keep the structure stable and in place even after repeated impacts from oncoming waves. Notice how the flat side faces the wave direction. This provides maximum surface area for initial impact to reduce the wave's energy. Wads are created in the shape of a triangular pyramid. On this project, Two sizes were constructed in order to match the depth of water in the area they were placed in. The smaller size is eight and a half feet in height and weighs around 8,500 pounds. The larger size stands at 10 and a half feet tall and weighs around 13,000 pounds. The inside and the base of the wads are hollow. They are held in position on the sea floor by their own weight. The wads were placed between 50 and 200 feet offshore. Both are located on the ocean-facing side, since this is the side where the majority of wave impacts come from. The west location is where the smaller-sized wads have been placed. In total, this segment had 484 wads placed. The larger size was placed at the east location due to the increased water depth. In total, this segment had 360 wads placed. Wads were designed on this project to be placed in an array with two rows. This forces the waves to impact the wads without leaving any gaps for them to bypass around the structures. The two rows work in tandem to provide maximum energy dissipation while being most economical to construct. Riprap boulders are positioned at the base of the wads on the ocean facing side to help prevent any scour from taking place. This protects the wad from tilting. The construction process was completed in three phases. The first phase is constructing the wads by using specially designed molds for the casting. The second step 
is to transport the wads by barge to the target location. The third and final step was to place the wads in the water using the help of a crane located on the barge. Wads are made of fiber reinforced concrete which gives the structure strength while being able to prevent corrosion due to the salty water environment they are placed. The concrete takes around 48 hours to cure and get fully removed from the molds. All of the created wads were stored on site along the shoreline before being placed in the water. The wads stick out of the water approximately two to three feet, depending on the tide. This helps make them visible to any boats in the area. The wads were placed in the water by a barge and crane at a rate of 10 structures per hour. Construction of this project completed as of October 27, 2023. Wards improve seagrass growth by allowing the roots to take hold on the sea floor without being swept away by the incoming waves. Before the project, there were almost no patches of seagrass in this area. In just a few months after placement of the wads, one acre of seagrass has been established thus far. FDOT is anticipating that around eight acres of seagrass will be established in the future. These grasses are important to help maintain Florida's coastal ecosystem. They provide food and shelter for a wide variety of fish, manatees, and other marine life in the area. The angled sides of the wads allow for sea growth to take place on the structure. They are pH neutral and mimic the natural environment. An abundance of sea life can already be seen around the wads in only a few months after being placed in the water. This video has been a presentation by the Florida Department of Transportation.